into a curly bob using a flat iron. So all you need is a comb and a sectioning clip like that and some pretty much two or three day old hair and then that way it will stay better. Okay, so this is what we're going with. This is the before. And what you do is you take your first section, you're going to take a section around if you've got thick hair for a start and we just pin that all up. Okay, and then you just take a section like this, flat irons like that and you literally just drag it and pull it through like that. So you just go all the way around, just pull it through as if you're making a ribbon like that. And section around that way. I'm doing it all in the same direction at this stage, just all around like that. A bit more tricky when you get to the back, but I'll show you. Let's see where I'm going. Okay, just do the same this side. This side it's all going back as well. need small sections as well. Pull it fairly tight and just pull it through the wand. It's not really one through the flat iron. And this one. And don't burn yourself. Okay, so the first one, the first row is like that. Just let your head down. You probably get about three lots of doing it that way. So just section it off again. This time I'm going to go forward and backwards. I'm going to rotate. So this curl is going to go forward. So drag it around the other way. Just pull it through like that. You get that nice curl there. And don't pick up what you've already curled. Otherwise, you'll first of all you'll start burning your hair too much. This way I'm going to go this way. And secondly, you'll make it too curly. Like that. So I'm just rotating, um, alternating backwards and forwards with the uh, curl. You kind of have to feel how it, how it goes around your hair because it's um, hard to do the back unless you've got a double mirror that shows you the back. So you just start one and then And the last section, <clears throat> um, yeah, we just alternate backwards and forwards again. Like that. And if you pull it really tight, you're going to get a really tight curl. If you just do it loosely, you'll get more of a relaxed curl. This one's going to go forward. You start when you're doing a present when you're using um, curling ribbon. <laughs> the same idea. So 
it's a few shorter layers here so I just have to be careful how I curl that so I don't curl it too much on there With the fringe, I've got quite a strong um, fringe on. I'm just going to have to sort of blend it in a little bit. So, yeah, I'm trying to grow this fringe out. I'm always trying to grow it out. So I'll just give it a slight bend and just mess around with it. But with the curls, what you do now, give it a bit of a shake through. You kind of separate it a little bit with your fingers. And then if you see that there's any bits that need a bit more of a curl, you just just do a bit more. You just pick up individual little bits and you can just do tiny little bits like that and I'll show you what I do. You can do them forwards and backwards, just the individual ones, like that one. Or you might just like it soft. I tend to use a comb just to make it smooth the hair out a little bit. Just check the back and we can see where we need to do more. I've got a big bit there that needs to cover up the crown, as you can probably see. So to do that, I'll pick up that one strand there and just sort of randomly do a curl this side maybe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just have a look and see how it's sitting at the back. That looks a bit scrappy, so we'll just pick up that one, do another strand there. I just hold it a little bit more in there just so I can really bend that those little bits under and also with this if you want you can actually flip the whole thing over a little bit especially because of that fringe so you can kind of disguise the fringe as well so if you wanted to just get rid of the fringe you wouldn't know I had a fringe right there just a matter of playing with the curls now once you've done the initial uh, curling. Sorry, it's very warm in this room as well, so I'm probably thick and all sweaty. <laughs> That's how you do um, curls. That's how you do beachy waves on a flat iron. So we'll just put that fringe back for now because I don't really like it without it. There you go. I'll show you all around. how nice the waves are they sort of one way and then underneath they go the other way and if you find the odd strands probably like this sort of thing you can just again pick up your flat line and just tidy those very small ends up just by curling them a bit more like so just tame it down and then you just spray all your your stuff just put your mousse in or whatever just to hold it all in so that's it okay Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you in the next one.